Hey there everybody, Tover Welsh here for VideoHive.net and VisualFXTuts.com. What I want to show you guys how to do today is to sequence layers within After Effects using a keyframe assistant command. And uh, what it does is it's going to make your slideshow creation very, very easily. I actually had this project where I had 285 slides and it would have been so hard to do this every single time so like say I want to throw these in here you now I've got to resize these go in here we got to split them at you know uh, edit split layers delete those offset adjust transparency you know th there we go now we got our little thing not to mention you know the scaling that I'm gonna have to be doing but that's a whole nother part of it. But my point is, is that doing this 285 times is going to be such a pain in the butt. So this nice little AE quick tip is going to blow your mind if you didn't know it already. So I'm just going to take, you know, 10 pictures for now. Bring 10 pictures in here. I'm just going to resize these really quick. Make it a little bit smaller so it doesn't eat up my RAM. Let's split these at five seconds because we want our stills to be actually five seconds long. Delete the tails. So we got them split at five seconds. And what we're going to want is we're going to want it to offset on uh, one second right here. So we have them overlapping by one second. We're just going to select all these, click the top one, right click, keyframe assistant, sequence layers. So you can see the overlap on the duration is going to be one second. So from here to here, this one will be overlapping and so on and so forth. You can also choose a transition. But you can have no transition, you can have dissolve the front layer, or cross dissolve front and back layers. I'm just going to use those. Hit OK. And it automatically sequences all your layers perfectly. So keep in mind there's a little bit of math to it. So if you want your slides to be fully uh, opaque for however long, you're going to have, like these ones have three seconds. So even though the slides are five seconds long, there's also uh, one second transition time on the front and the back and then there's three seconds here so kind of just if you're gonna have one second transitions you're gonna want to have uh, a seven second still uh, and then if you want 15 sec 15 frame transitions you'll want to have a six second still if you want five seconds on screen so on so forth you can do the math it's pretty simple it's a uh, it saves a lot of time I mean, you could literally stick like 500 pictures in here, do the same thing, and it would sequence them all perfectly. And, you know, it'll save you a lot of time, especially if you're one of those people that does slideshows. Um, you know, it's not the greatest thing to do, not the funnest thing to do, but, you know, sometimes you got to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this AE quick tip. I will be back later on in the week with some articles, and next week I'll have another tutorial for you guys. Uh, but until then, my name's Topher Welsh. Oh! One last thing, I wanted to give some props to John Dickinson over at motionworks.com.au. He's the one that actually told me about this because I uh, Skyped him the other day. He, I was like, JD, dude, you need to help me out. I don't know. I got like 300 stills and I don't want to have to do these hand by hand. He's like, dude, keyframe assistant sequence layers. Super simple. So thanks, JD. Go check out his stuff. Go check out making it look great and uh, buy some of his products. But like I said, until next time, my name is Topher Welsh for videohive.net and visualfxtots.com. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.